Hi, it's John here. And I wanted to talk to you today about inserting tables into WordPress pages and posts. A lot of people have been asking me about this recently, so I thought I'd talk about um, a really useful plugin that everybody who's working with WordPress absolutely should be using. And if you use this, it makes inserting tables really, really easy. So what we've got here is um, just a, a local test installation of WordPress that I'm working with. If we go into the plugins, add new, and we want to search for tiny MCE. Okay, tiny MCE advanced. Um, it's a whole series of plugins that just allows us to do a lot more with the editor. So I'm going to install this. Okay, and I'll activate the plugin. What we'll find now if we go to the settings is we have this advanced. Okay, tiny MCE buttons arrangements. So we've got all these extra things that we can do, such as adding anchors, adding um, different thickness horizontal rules. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we can do that really helps us just to um, be a little bit more creative with what we do. We can also see here, it's laid out, we can have up to four toolbars in our editor. One thing I would really recommend is tick this box, stop removing the uh, paragraph and break tags when saving and show them in the HTML editor. This allows, if you want to create a little bit of white space, makes it really easy to do without having to try and force it within uh, the standard WordPress editor. The other thing you might want to play with is this advanced link. If you tick that, you should notice that the um, all of the new linking features in WordPress 3.1 will disappear but you do get the option to look at any um, anchors that you've set within your um, within your text so if you're working with anchors it's worth ticking that when you're done untick it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a third toolbar here specifically for working with tables and thankfully everything's just on one Okay, one um, toolbar item there. So all I did is I dragged it from the available um, buttons down here, and this is giving me all of my table functionality. Okay, that's all there is to it. Save changes. Now, if I go in here and I add a new post, okay, you can see I've got this um, this extra item here for tables. You also see that I can't spell. <laughs> so this is a post to demonstrate tables. Um, incidentally, one other thing that's come up recently, um, I've come across a lot of people who I've been working with who are trying to style the text in the editor here. So they say, I don't want Times New Roman, I want Arial. My recommendation is that you don't do this here. All this style is, is how it looks within the editor. It actually gets styled by the theme that you're using. So don't mess about trying to set fonts um, in here. So that was just an aside. We want to create in a table. So I'm going to create a table. I just clicked on this button at here. I'm going to have three columns and three rows. If you're familiar with HTML, um, you'll know that you can set padding and spacing between the different um, uh, the different cells. I'm going to put five in there. I'm going to leave the spacing as zero. We don't want a border. Um, we want everything centered within the table, and we want it to a width of let's say 80% of the post. Okay, you can set other things in here. It's worth having a play around with it if you want to. It's the best way to learn really with WordPress. We insert it. Okay, cell one, cell two, cell three. Okay, 
so because we haven't um, left any space between them it's not very easy to see where the different cells are but uh, I think you can see here that we've got three by three okay so that's one way of using the tables fairly standard way another thing that you can do with it though is you can make a cell or a table that's just one by one and this is great for making something stand out so let's say I want um, a border of one I want it to be 50 percent the width of my overall post and I'm gonna set a background color let me have a look I'll pick it from the palette I'm gonna set a pale yellow just so that it lifts it a little bit Now if I select the table and center it, okay, so um, I'm going to make this bold and I'm going to make the must italics and I'm going to make it bring up this as well I'm going to make it uh, red okay so what we might want to do is to actually edit the cell so if I can select this cell okay let me just cancel that again so you see I'm in here where I'm editing and I can make changes just to this cell and this is the formatting of this cell so we want it center center okay did that uh, sorry I didn't click on the red okay for some reason it doesn't like red let me try purple we won't worry about that. I'm trying to show you tables today, not how to set colors in uh, in fonts. So if I publish this, and we view it, okay, I did get my uh, my pink in here. Um, this particular theme isn't set up to allow me to center things so I would have to go back and play with that a little bit more to try and get it to center but you can see the other table here spaced out um, we didn't put anything in the other lines but we can see that they're there so uh, that's it in a nutshell this is how we use tables within um, within WordPress I'm John Landells from Internet Marketing with John at www.johnlandells.com and I'll see you in my next video